With Matt Brady, head coach of the James Madison Dukes. Coach playing Drexel tonight in the CA tournament. What are the keys for your team to pull this one out? Well, I think defensive energy and toughness and, and blocking out on defense. You know, for our team, we haven't been consistent at, really at either end of the court, but I know when you play Drexel, you've got to match their defensive intensity. So we're going to try and play as hard as we can defensively and, and hope that we play, have a better effort. You know, we've been a very inconsistent team, especially at that end of the court. Uh, but our kids, we've talked about it here for a couple of days, playing Drexel, just having played them you know, this past weekend, they know what kind of defense Drexel plays, so we're going to have to be able to match their intensity. Now, is that having just played them good, bad, indifferent, better for you? No, I think it's indifferent. You know, uh, we, we played them at home. We, uh, we had a halftime lead, a lot of lead changes in the second half, and our defense was really poor in the second half. They might say the same thing, but we certainly didn't stop them at any point in the second half. Uh, and then we had a two-point lead with a minute to go and didn't hold that lead. Um, so, you know, we, we know that we've got to play better defense in order to give ourselves a chance to win tonight. Now, Pierre Curtis has played probably about 3,000 games in his career. Is, how important is that going into his last CAA tournament first game? Well, and especially given the nature of Drexel's defense and how, how they pressure the basketball, he's our only true ball handler. Ben Louie backs him up as point guard, but he's not really a point guard. He's really more of a wing. Uh, so we need Pierre on the, on the floor to handle their pressure and their, and their ball pressure. Uh, and we need them, uh, you know, to be able to make some plays for us offensively. And, and likewise, we need them on the defensive end to be able to stay in front of their guards because they are so good at getting the, bat, the ball to the basket. And I assume that's your key on defense is maybe keeping Jamie Harris out of the lane. Yeah, I think, you know, he uses a lot of ball screens and he tries to get, you know, in transition, he tries to get all the way to the rim. They, they curl a lot of screens to get to the rim. For, for me and for our team, we've got to keep him out of the lane as best we can. And that's not been something we've been very good at this year. Great. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. With Bruiser Flint, head coach of the Drexel Dragons, getting ready to take on James Madison in the CAA tournament. Coach, you just played James Madison seven days ago, whatever it was. Good, bad, and different for you guys? Uh, I mean, we'll see. I'll put it to you that way. You know, uh, uh, you know, can be good. We know that, uh, you know, we beat them on their home court. Uh, we did some good things in the game. Uh, I think if we continue to do them, then we got a good chance. If not, then, uh, you know, it was a close game, and they can beat us. Plus, it's playoffs. It's a new season for everybody. What the heck do you do with Denzel Bowles? Uh, <laughs> hope and pray. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm kind of lucky because I get enough bodies to throw at him. I got a lot of big guys. So, but, uh, you know, we haven't done a bad job with him. Uh, but, uh, I mean, when he gets it going, he gets it going. He's one of the best offensive players in the league. Now, i got to imagine Jamie Harris, getting him going is the key for you on offense, but what else do you need to do to be successful well, on the offense? Our big thing is, you know, we, we don't always, we're not the greatest prolific offensive <laughs> team, you know what I mean, but uh, we got to play D and we got to rebound. Uh, you know, try to get some easy buckets in transition, those types of things, and, you know, just really just play the way we need to do to win the game, which is we got to play all out, play hard, and play defense. 
late game matter at all? Is it some rust or anything? Uh, I mean, it's just playoff. You, if you're talking about all that stuff now, you don't deserve to be playing. You know what I mean? Now it's the playoffs. Got a chance to possibly go to the uh, you know, NCAA tournament. And, you know, it's all out right here. If, if, uh, if you lose, your season's over. So, uh, you know, all that late night and all that stuff like that, man, you got to come ready to play now. Great. Thanks, Coach. We appreciate it. All right. Thanks. thanks.